Hi guys, this is the uh, BMW E46 that we're working on right now. Uh, what I want to show you is a little bit of freeze frame data. Uh, if you're not sure what freeze frame data is, this video should explain it to you. It's quite simple. Um, what I'm going to do here is we're using the Autel MD802. Uh, the MD702 will also work as well, it is a little bit cheaper and it's more specific for European cars. Uh, this one is specific for European cars as well, but it, it's also specific for uh, other markets like Asian markets and American markets as well. Either tool though will do the job. Uh, so we're just linking to the vehicle first of all. Now it's telling us a little bit of information that there is one code found, uh, but the MIL or the uh, malfunction indicator light is off. So there's no engine management light on, but there is a fault there. So we'll go ahead and read the co fault code first of all. And it's telling us P0341, camshaft position sensor, A circuit. All right, so we've got our fault. Um, what we're gonna do now is have a little look at freeze frame data. So freeze frame data, basically, it gives us a snapshot of all of the systems within the vehicle at the time of the fault occurring. All right, so I'm going to click into that now, and we should get some freeze frame data. So, DTC that caused the required freeze frame data, so that's the fault code that we got. And then what it's going to do, it's going to scroll through all of the different systems, so telling you uh, temperatures, the load in which the engine was under, uh, engine coolant temperature, there you go, the short-term fuel trim, long-term fuel trim, RPM, uh, vehicle speed, and there we are back up to the top. So that is really a short, uh, a short explanation of what freeze frame data is. Uh, I hope you weren't expecting anything too fantastic or magnificent, uh, but it does give you a little bit of information, as I say, uh, as to how the vehicle was performing at the time of the actual fault. Um, and if you, uh, it's good to sort of log this information and then if the fault comes back again, clear the fault, if it comes back again, see what kind of circumstances and see if there is maybe a pattern occurring when the fault occurs. Um, it could be a good, a good way of finding any intermittent faults. Uh, but as I say, this is the Autel MD802. Uh, the same will work on the MD702 as well. Uh, if you are interested in this kit, just take a closer look. It's www.diagnostic-world.com uh, or you can just click the link directly below this video and it will take you to the page on our website. I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.